Welcome to the adjectives lesson on my YouTube channel. At this time, please have your adjectives doodle page and write the word binder and English divider. This is where your adjectives doodle notes are going to be placed behind the English divider in your binder. We're going to start putting our notes in our binder so you can keep better track of them and you have them when you work on any Mad Lib story. So adjectives is going to be the objective of this lesson. You're going to be learning about adjectives. Please make sure that you have your pencil ready. At any time, you can pause the video to catch up and to make sure that you have the following words in the notes. Please make sure that any words in my pen color are in your notes. So at this time, please pick up your pencil. And I want you to write the following adjective words. Remember, adjective words describe nouns. They're descriptive words. So in the title, write the following adjective word examples. Clear, fabulous, five, ambitious, happy, motivated, sad, three, amazing, athletic, and bad. Please write the following adjectives and make sure that you have all of these adjectives. Whatever is on my paper should be on your paper. So you're copying your notes. So at this time, please pause the video if you need to catch up. Now, pick up your pencil if you've unpaused it and you're ready for the next part. We're gonna write the definition of adjectives. Describes nouns. Remember, a noun is a person, place, or thing and it also describes pronouns. Pronouns are the following words, and there's more than these. So pronouns are the words I, me, my, and he, and she, and they. So please write describes nouns and pronouns. In parentheses, write I, me, my, and he at this time. Then also write articles. The following three words are articles, the letter A, and and the are also adjectives. So if you didn't know, articles, the following words, a, and, and the are adjectives as well. They describe the noun. Now, adjectives can come before, so underline the word before, or after nouns or pronouns, like this example. I want you to underline the word excited and then draw an arrow to the word he. He is my noun. And the word excited is describing this person, and it's a boy or a man. And the adjective is coming after. So write the word after with me. So in this example, the adjective came after the noun, and that's the word excited. Now, fabulous. I want you to Underline the word fabulous, and then draw an arrow connecting it to carnival. This adjective came before the noun, which is the carnival. So remember, adjectives can come before the noun, fabulous, carnival. It was written before the noun carnival, or after. The word excited is our adjective, and it came after the noun he. So this is our pronoun here. So remember, adge adjectives can come before or after nouns and pronouns. So at this time, please pause the video to catch up and have the top part of the notes filled out exactly the way that they look on my paper. And pause the video at this time. Now, if you're ready to move on, unpause it, and let's look at the bottom part, the middle part, I mean. So now, overall, we have adjectives, but now there are three different types of adjectives. The first type of adjectives are comparative adjectives. So comparative adjectives, we're going to look at the word cuter and more adorable. 
more adorable, and cuter are comparative adjectives. That means that they use the following words, more and er. So when it's where it says compare, we're going to put puppies. So please write this with me and you can always pause at the end of me writing and you can pause the screen so you can write this with me. Now, let's read the sentence. Puppies are cuter than kittens. They are so much more adorable. Remember, the words more adorable and cuter are comparative adjectives. So right now, it's comparing puppies and kittens. And it's using the keywords ER at the end and more. So circle more and ER. That means that if your adjective ends with an ER, like in cuter, it's going to be a comparative adjective. It's still, a, it's still an adjective, but we're just identifying what kind of adjective, and it's a comparative. And if you see an adjective with the phrase starting with the word more, like more adorable, you know that more adorable is a comparative adjective because it's using the word more to start off and it's ending with an er, that's our suffix, the last part of the word. So whenever you see the suffix er and the clue word more in front of the adjective, you know it's a comparative adjective. And it always compares to, so this one's comparing two things right now. Now for examples of comparative adjectives, we have the following. So please write these with me. More musical, that's a comparative adjective. We're going to write more amazing. More fabulous. Remember, these are comparative adjectives because they start off with the clue word more. More musical, more amazing, more fabulous are all comparative adjectives. Now, let's write some comparative adjectives that end with an ER. Remember, these are still describing words. We have the words. I'm going to draw this little divider over here. Better. That's a comparative adjective because it has the ER at the end. I have happier, and it's a comparative adjective because it ends with the suffix ER. I have faster, it's a comparative adjective because it ends with the suffix ER, and I also have clearer. And it's a comparative adjective because it has the suffix er. So please pause the video to have your notes on comparative adjectives. Now please unpause the video if you're ready to move on. To summarize, remember comparative adjectives end with an er, like better, happier, faster, clearer, or they start off with the word more, more musical, more amazing, more fabulous. Now, superlative adjectives are the following. So let's do our examples over here first. Most musical. Most amazing. And we're going to stop right there. So let's look at our example sentence over here underneath, underneath superlative. He is the cutest puppy in the litter. 
He is the most adorable. So I boxed in the word cutest, and it's describing the puppy as the cutest. It's a superlative. He's the most adorable. Most adorable is a superlative, and it's describing that person. Now, as you can see, comparative adjectives start off with the word more and end with er. Now, superlative adjectives start with the word most and end with est. So, in this example, he is the cutest puppy in the litter. He's the most adorable. It's comparing all puppies. So, write this with me. Everything that, everything that I write, you should be writing as well. And you can wait till I finish to pause it when I finish going over superlatives. So it compares all puppies in the litter. Now it's using the suffix est or morris, most. And it's comparing three or more things. Our examples are most musical, most amazing, and most fabulous. And now our examples for superlative adjectives ending in EST are best, happiest, Clearest, clearest. Now, a lot of you have already been using all these kinds of adjectives and you haven't realized yet. So once again, and let's put one more. Fast, fastest. Superlative adjectives and an EST, or they start off with the word most, and our examples are most musical, most amazing, most fabulous, best, happiest, clearest, and fastest. They end in the suffix est, or they start off with the word most. And in this example, he is the cutest puppy in the litter. Cutest is describing the puppy, which is the noun. Most adorable is describing the noun, the pronoun in this example. So it compared all puppies in the litter uses EST at the end or starts off with the word most. And in this one, it's comparing three or more things. So please pause the video to write all of these notes on your paper. Now, when you are done, please unpause it so we can go down on the doodle notes and work on demonstrative adjectives. Now, demonstrative adjectives points out a particular noun. They point out. Examples of this are these words. This, that, these, and the word those. The word this, that, these, and those are adjectives. And to be more specific, they're demonstrative adjectives. And they, their job is to point out a particular noun. Let's look at our example sentence. That puppy is the cutest one in the litter, but those pups are cute too. I boxed in the demonstrative adjective that, and it's pointing out the puppy. So that's why I drew an arrow. Make sure you draw an arrow with me. Those pups are cute too. We boxed in the demonstrative adjective those, and it's pointing out pups. So at this time, please make sure that you understand when it's talking about using the word that, it means that it's talking about one. So I'm gonna write that puppy and I'm going to draw one puppy.
That's by one puppy. So when it's using the demonstrative adjective that, that means one. So draw this picture with me. When it's talking about those, those pups, it's describing more than one. So I'm going to draw two puppies. And make sure that you do a better job of drawing these puppies than I am right now. So it always means two. If it's using the demonstrative adjective those. Those means two. That means one. So those pups, that puppy. So please draw your picture at this time. Please pause the video and write down your notes on demonstrative adjectives. Pause the video, please. Now, once you're done writing all of these notes, if at any point you did not finish, please rewind and pause the video at certain spots to make sure that you have all of these notes. To recap, remember, adjectives are describing words. They describe nouns, a person, place, or thing. And pronouns, example of pronouns are I, me, my, he, she, they. Articles are also adjectives, the words A and the. So at this time, please put your pencil down and we're going over the recap. So some adjectives that you are familiar with are the words bad, athletic, amazing, three, sad, motivated, ambitious, happy, five, fabul fabulous, and clear. And don't forget the words A, and, and the, which are articles, are also adjectives. Remember, adjectives can come before or after the nouns or pronouns. Excited came after the pronoun he, and fabulous came before the noun carnival. Comparative adjectives, they end with an er, like better, happier, faster, clearer, or they start with the word more. For example, more musical, more amazing, more fabulous. Puppies are cuter. Cuter is the comparative adju adjective describing the puppies. And it came after. They are so much more adorable. More adorable is describing they are. It starts with the clue word more. Now, what do you think they are is? Is it the puppies or the kittens? They're describing puppies, that they are more adorable than kittens. Then superlative adjectives, they always end with the suffix est, or they start off with the word most. For example, most musical, most amazing, most fabulous, because they're starting off with the keyword most. Or they can end with the suffix est for superlative, like best, happiest, clearest, fastest. He is the cutest. We have our suffix est, and cutest is describing the noun puppy. Most adorable is describing the pronoun he is, he is. And this is superlative, and they compare three or more things. But don't worry about this last part here. We'll go over that later on. Demonstrative adjectives point out a particular noun. Our example words for demonstrative adjectives are this, that, these, and those. That puppy is the cutest one in the litter, but those pups are cute too. That is pointing out the particular noun, which is puppy, and that means one. Those pups are cute too is pointing out the noun pups, meaning at least two. Great job, guys. Please make sure that you have all the following notes on the adjective doodle page. And if you want, you can color in your doodle notes and put this in your binder behind the English divider. Great job, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.